President Trump, if you see this, please save us. <laughs> I don't even see our American flag anymore. Biden's talking with some kind of crazy flag. This is America. This is our land. Please, President Trump. Please, please, I hope you have a plan. God, please save us. Save us from the devil, please. Y'all are about to have a panic attack. <laughs> this is our country. Our country. This is awful. God, please save us, please. When I saw Lisa did a video about this, I didn't even have to leave a comment or an emoji of a violin to know that I was definitely going to turn this into a triple P. And what's so crazy is I think I had saw this in passing on Instagram or Twitter, but I didn't think to stop to look at it or anything like that. But I'm glad I came across Lisa's video. And Lisa, if you out there listening right now, you are not right for looping the video in your commentary over and over again before you started to talk and then played it again before you ended the video. But I'll accept it because, you know, that's the petty in you. You know, we take we take pride in, in you know, occasional pettiness. And this one right here was perfection. So here you have this woman right here. We don't know her by name. We all we know is that she definitely was or is still a 45 supporter where she just had this complete and utter overly dramatic meltdown about uh, 45 leaving office and Mr. Touchy Feely coming in as 46. Listen, I must have played this video so many times and laughed harder each and every time as if I had only watched it once or did not watch it at all i should say and it got funnier and funnier each and every time now there are actually two other videos out there i couldn't find them i actually saw them on somebody else's page um in the midst of their commentary i but i couldn't find them stand uh stand alone because i don't know what this woman's name is where in one video prior to this like back during the election she had all this mouth and all this ego and all this arrogance to her talking about uh, 45 and I think this was prior to the election like her tone was completely different she was talking all her shit and whatnot and then you have this one that went viral then she posted another video I think to TikTok talking about uh, she wants people to stop tagging her on Instagram and stuff like that but she's so stupid that the reason why they're tagging you and stuff is because you keep uploading videos for them to tag you to or put tags to your name and now this video has gone viral so it's very easy like once it's on the internet it's out there for good like once the internet has a hold of it that's it for the most part that is it now what's so funny one, one thing that was funny to this well with this is when she was talking about the flag notice she was saying that she doesn't even see the flag anymore now mind you i believe she recorded this video on the day of the inauguration on the day of the inauguration, the American flag is represented everywhere for the most part, especially down there. And it was shown in like various, very, uh, various different variations. But I believe that the flag she was talking about that she did not see there was the Confederate flag. You know, we saw that quite a bit during the invasion of the Capitol. We saw that a lot. And I think that was the flag she was referring to. But man, she literally put on the waterworks with this one. She said, oh my God, I think I'm having a panic attack. You left us with a devil. It's just funny. Like, it seems like in her entire little menstrual rant, it sounded like a SOS call. Like she was trying to flag somebody down with a flare to try to come and rescue her off of the abandoned island like she was on Castaway or some shit. Like it's just, it was just crazy. Come save us. 40, I mean, President Trump, please come save us. He can't save you. That man's all the way in Florida right now in Mar-a-Lago golfing. He don't give a damn about y'all right now as it stands. To be quite honest, he really didn't care about y'all then because look at how he didn't pardon those insurrectionists 
Not one of them got pardoned. He pardoned Lil Wayne, Kodak Black, Kwame Kilpatrick, Steve Bannon, basically people that you know he had in his back pocket or people who kissed his ass more. And y'all may have kissed his ass, but y'all didn't pay. As in Riley from the uh, Boondock said, y'all didn't pay what you owe. That's why you, no, they didn't get pardoned. Y'all were just pawns. Y y if anything, this should be one of the biggest wake up calls to a lot of these staunch MAGA supporters right now. Y'all got a raw deal. I mean, he got out of you what he needed to get through these four years. But now he doesn't need you anymore. I mean, he'll probably have some assistance, but it's done now. He he he, <laughs> he has kicked his feet up. He is chilling right now. And this is now what you're stuck with. Now, granted, like I said, I am not a Biden Harris supporter by any measure of the word. But I'm going to enjoy the four years of watching the people that have uh, made the last four years seem like hell. And I'm not even talking about 45. I'm talking about his supporters, his his cult, because this sounds real cultish. That's what I'm going to enjoy. If there are any more meltdowns like this to be had, and I have a feeling that there will be. Even from the men. Hey, I'll be prepared to do a triple P on them, too. But. I'm going to go ahead and end the video on that note. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you haven't done so already, make sure you text the number that is pinned down below <coughs> in the comments so you can get notifications every time I upload a new video. And I will talk to you in the next one.